So hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about dark matter and dark energy. So what is dark matter number one? And also, so first we need to talk about the Big Bang before we talk about the dark matter because dark matter is very very important just like how much importance we give to our subscribers so make sure to subscribe and like our videos so dark matter dark matter is basically what the universe uh, how the universe expands why does the universe expand in the first place it is because of the original energy of the big bang right so what is that thing that we call in physics like why does the universe expand and what causes it so this that is what dark matter you know, it's a uh, dark matter is very hard to explain what it is, but it just makes the universe expand. That's all we know. It's the opposite of gravity. Gravity wants to make everything pull together. It start, tries to make everything like uh, pull together and things. Like if I give the get these two books, for example, they will try to pull each other. Now, obviously, it doesn't pull each other here because there's a stronger gravitational force. Even us can technically pull each other. However, the Earth already pulls us, so we cannot do that. It doesn't affect us that much. So, gravity is the opposite of dark matter. That's at least what we know as of right now. There's not much about dark matter. However, I have theory. I have a theory, okay? So, stay with me here. So, the uh, uh, so first, let's go to the Big Bang, okay? So the Big Bang, it happens where uh, it happened when the universe was very dense and it only had all of the things in the universe. This book, this, uh, these plants, and these, uh, and even the camera that you're watching. This, this all came from the Big Bang because every single particle in the Big Bang densely, like uh, it was. Ev we don't know the exact size. It could be the size of this book. It could be the size of Earth. We don't know. However, it was pretty small as we know it in universal scales. Like as of right now. It was very small compared to our universe right now. So all of this matter and everything around us originated from that one dense ball of, you know, matter and things. So, uh, so if you think about it, is gravity stronger than dark matter? In my opinion, no. Because if that was the true, uh, if that was actually what happened, that gravity would have just not, you know, let dark matter expand the universe, which would have happened normally. Now, here's where my theory comes in, because if you think about it, if you think about it, uh, then in in theory, dark matter is just b making the universe expand. So, shouldn't there be the most of dark matter on the outside of the universe? Then gravity should, in theory be at the center of the universe now according to scientists as of right now what we have done in tests is that dark matter is 68 percent of the un like the observable universe there's a big difference between the observable universe and the universe itself because we don't know how big the universe is we just know that there's an observable universe a range that we can see through okay so uh, we uh, uh, so in theory that uh, that should mean that there's more matter in the uh, in the core of the universe. There must be a core of a universe. That is, so why don't we know that there's a core of a universe? That's a very important question. Why don't we? Now I don't know that answer. I'm not a I'm not a very very good physicist, so I don't know like how to calculate all of that. But all I know is that according to my theory. We are like sixty-eight percent in like the universe, so that should uh, because da the amount of dark matter, like, also technically means how much far we are in the universe. So that should mean we are pretty far to the edge. Actually, it's more than half. So we are more than half towards one of the radiuses of the universe, which is like circle that's constantly expanding. Uh, now the only problem with this theory is that that I thought of was that how does matter get to, towards the edge of the universe? I mean, matter is like at the center, you know, more more of this theory. So I don't exactly know that. However, there is exact sub exactly sub theories I can't tell you. Number one is that dark matter can predict the end of the universe. Now, since we don't know much of the properties of this dark matter thing. We don't know what it is, okay? So, say for example, this book, this book is like, 
if it is, uh, what will we make it? Let's make it gravity. So, is this book's gravity, okay? This book is gravity. So, this is dark matter. However, it's in the future. So, what do I mean? Dark matter currently, according to people, is a, a bit stronger than gravity, obviously. It's stronger than gravity. So, if dark matter gets weaker over time, then what would happen? Gravity will be able to pull the universe back in. And this is actually Einstein's theory. The universe will go, go back to the previous state of the Big Bang and then it will expand again and it will become another universe. So that's Einstein's theory. However, the second theory is that dark matter stays at is, as it is. So this theory actually results in the fact that the universe will keep expanding and expanding until there is basically no more matter left in the universe. All, all the stars become black hole and stuff. So all of it basically becomes, uh, you know, not, what do we call it, not existent. So it will just become a void of nothing. So that's the second theory. The third theory is if dark matter gets stronger over time, so what would happen in, or what would happen in this situation well this situation is actually kind of unpredictable and so this situation the uh, universe will keep expanding so fast right that matter will be very spread out and it's basically we don't know much of it it's just that it's ba similar to the second theory because if dark matter gets greater over time the universe will just become a frozen wasteland so, if you think about th uh, that, it's just more of more of the universe will just keep expanding. It's the same scenario as earlier. If you think about it, so those are the three main, you know, like endings of the universe that dark matter can cause, and the, that's now this is very important because if you want to find out the diameter of the universe, we need to think about how dark matter affects it. So. Dark matter, it's hundred percent about the edges, okay? So in, th but there's another problem of this theory that is that should the dark matter getting become less and less every day? Well, we don't know about that because we don't check dark matter every day, and the average scientist doesn't check dark matter every day. That's not what an average physici physicist does. They, you know, have other studies. They don't only focus on dark matter. So. You know, the study could have been in 2018, it could have been 68%, it might have been lower now, a bit lower. So, usually, if it does get lower, then we could predict actual, the actual pace of the universe. So, we could predict how fast it is going and how fast is, it, uh, is the, you know, speed, uh, uh, like, exponentially increasing. So, how much is it increasing every time the speed when it expands. So, in theory, that... Uh, in theory, if we do think that this theory is real, then dark matter is 100% about the edges, okay? So, we could figure out the diameter of the universe right now in the moment if we have a couple of things. Number one, if we can figure out the actual age of the universe, because the age of the observable universe is 13 billion years. So, if we can figure out when the Big Bang happened from the center and when it expanded, we can figure out how much the technical di the, the technically the diameter is. Um, I mean the ages actually the age of the universe is and if we can figure out the age of the universe and the speed of the universe we can technically figure out basically the uh, diameter of the universe. I know that was a huge stretch and a long time to explain and w what I said, but it just basically means that the universe is the universe's if we can calculate the actual universe's age, the actual universe's uh, so the speed it's expanding, then we can figure out its diameter right now. If we can figure out how much it's expanding right now, because keep in mind how the universe works, it isn't like a book. It doesn't uh, just bounce. Okay, it's not a good example. However, if you would drop like a ball, I don't have it around here, obviously. If you would drop it, it would bounce slowly and go down until it eventually comes to the floor. However, the universe isn't like that. It just keeps jumping higher. So, it just keeps expanding higher. That's what I'm trying to explain, basically. So, the universe just keeps expanding faster and faster. So, if you can figure out the exact speed at which it expanded and how fast it expanded at the beginning and eventually we can figure out its age. If we can figure out its age, then we can figure out the diameter of the universe and basically the universe's diameter. 
so we can then figure out it's going to be a very very long time to explain all of this but we don't know how far the observable universe is now there's that's one theory okay many of you believe that there's an infinite universe i mean not an infinite universe infinitely expanding universe however there's another theory it's like the multiverse theory okay it's like the multiverse theory if you think about the multiverse theory it's like this is one universe this is another universe this is another universe and there is an infinite amount of universes so we could just be living in one out of like many universes okay and what is the theory then because the universe can't keep expanding so what is dark energy well this is a very complex question because if there are multiple universes that would explain a lot because there's multi no, multiple physical scenarios that could happen in one universe now there's a difference between multiple timelines and multiple universes a universe is a universe can just be a whole strand of different lines of different timelines of different things that could happen timeline is just one single timeline like i chose to read this book in this timeline however i could choose to read this book in another timeline however in another multiverse i could just be illiterate and i could not even read books for example that is how that is how the multiverse basically works there's a difference between the multiple universes and timelines at least from my understanding so um if the multiverse theory is real that would not explain much because we don't we still don't know if the universe is actually expanding or not because because if we think about it yes it should have expanded but there's just should have it, there's no definite proof that it could have okay it did definitely expand 100% but we don't know if it's it is getting faster as people say however how big can a universe physically get if it's in a multiverse theory so for example this is the multiverse theory as an example how big kid, uh, could this universe get in the multiverse because if it's an infinite amount that would not explain much because then where are the other universes in that parallel has dimension and again dimensions are different okay a universe has different rules and things so in a, another universe there might be no lives there might be no living things in the ho- another universe so another dimension is just a completely different thing we don't even know what a dimension could be a dimension uh, yeah there's t- different kinds of dimensions obviously the first dimension is obviously the line and stuff however what i mean by the dimension is basically another universe but it's like it's not another like it's very hard to explain if you get it it's not another it's not like it's like another universe but it has very different rules than what we think what a dimension basically means is that it's a very very weird universe that we cannot even imagine with our minds what it would be like like it's a gravity there can be even like lifting of the gravity like it could be opposite everything but it, we still have that in our minds we don't know what a dimension could be like but a dimension normally is obviously like this we live in the third dimension there are four dimensions we don't know how that works because obviously this uh, we see the world in two dimensions and the actual world is three dimensions so that's another thing but what our main question was was that if dark matter can expand the universe then why can uh, where is the other universes we don't know actually that's the question because in the multiverse theory bubbles if the universe is like bubbles okay there's hundreds of universes with different yeah, things and there, there's infinite amount of universes basically so where is this located this plane we don't know where this plane of other universes is located we cannot even travel further than the edge of the universe one theory has it that in theory because what black hole is if it, it's just kind of like a hole which leads into the thing another a black hole could lead you to another universe now that is a very very bold theory however that is kind of true if you think about it there's one plane of space time in our universe so space time is like another dimension this is the our universe 
there could be like another universe below it beside it and in theory a black hole it could just lead us there because black hole is just a tear to the uh to the space type so maybe that's true maybe you don't believe it because calculations also say that you get spaghettified at things or spaghettification it also the kind of thing you think it's like technically it's just you moving through like another dimensional thing it could be an effect because we don't know what the physics of the other universe is so when we are moving through and uh, let's say this is the black hole when we are moving through the um, through the black hole we are facing the changes of our universe's physics to another universe's physics so we don't know what actually happens we we fully don't know actually what happens in the center of a black hole so if i am correct then the physics of the universe we will mean that if we go to a black hole we will reach another universe so what is dark energy dark energy just causes the universe to expand in one plane of time one plane of space time it just kind of expands in one plane of space time it's the universe really is just made out of fabric like space time so if we move through the black hole you could reach another plane of space time in theory that is just back to you don't try it. Uh, if you become ever want to go through a black hole don't try it i am not recommending this video for anybody in 2020 in anybody in 3000 year okay don't don't go jump in a black hole i dk i don't know what's there i mean i don't know what's there so um yeah that's it so bye I also talked about the multiverse and the universe theory so make sure to drop a like and a subscribe so yeah I'll see you in the next one